Parents, are you noticing the kids spending a large part of, the, part of their summer vacation playing video games, maybe watching TV, eating the junk food? Yes, and the lack of physical activity and not eating the right foods is called the summer slide. And there is a way to keep it from getting out of control. Christy Wilson has some fun ideas for all of us to use. Christy, I yes. am so glad you're here. <laughs> because Thank the summer you. slide is a very real thing. Yes. And we know it's a problem because there was a recent survey that came out that actually proved that kids are spending three and even more hours in front of the television. So yeah. tell us more. Yes, yeah, so the summer slide might sound like a lot of fun, <laughs> but it's actually an expression used to describe the time of year where kids are vulnerable to not only forgetting everything that they've learned during the school year, yes. but they're also vulnerable to weight gain. And that's influenced by inactivity. I mean, we can relate. It's so hot outside. Yes. And then also food choices. So I have some tips that will hopefully help everyone out. Yes, so we want to counteract, you know, kind of the the summer slide, which is kind of like the easy. So we have mm -hmm. a little tiny bit of leg work that we can put in that's yes. going to make it all better. Exactly. So we're going to create this uh, tuna pasta salad, mm. um, and you're going to help me. So we've got awesome. everything here. We're going to show everybody just how quick and easy this is. And, okay. And delicious, because if it doesn't taste good, Nobody's They're not going to eat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Okay, so we have this. Um, we have our uh, basil pesto and some olives and uh, some lemon juice. So why don't you go ahead and just put those awesome. in the bowl? Put all of this in here. Yes, perfect. So I'll help you out with the lemon juice. You might grab the olives. So we have some healthy omega-3 fatty acids coming in from these ingredients. All right, and then we have uh, some vegetables. So any way you can incorporate vegetables, go ahead and put them right in. Perfect. Um, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of immune boosting properties, and fiber. I say hide them in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why know. not? Why not? All right, so we've got our also whole grain shell pasta, and then um, our superstar here, we've got chunk light tuna. I just took this out of the foil pack, mm -hmm. um, so it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is great, um, and even for um, kids and pregnant moms oh. and breastfeeding moms, that omega-3 is good for brain development, and we should be eating this two to three times a week. A week, and okay. It's a really easy recipe to incorporate that. So voila, we have the This is the finished, the finished product. product. Oh, it smells delicious <laughs> and looks delicious, yeah. which I love. I love all yeah. the colors in so this. So it's very colorful, you know, it's just great for summer, for picnics, etc. cetera. Oh, so yeah. So we've got that all going. That's beautiful. And, um, and now we're moving on to our vegetables. So vegetables, we all know we need to eat these foods. But when it comes to kids, it can be challenging. It can be. I can vouch for that, yes. <laughs> but I like this because it's already fun because of the shapes. Yeah. Right. My kids saw that and, and they loved it. Um, so all I did is I used some shaped cookie cutters. I even made a Pac-Man out of one of them, oh, which is really fun. <laughs> That's so um, cute. And I cut up, so what we have there are uh, jicama slices and cucumber. And then if you do like a little spice, and I know my son likes spice, so uh, we have this seasoning that is just dried chili powder, a little bit of salt, and dehydrated lemon. So it also gives it some color. Great. Oh, that's great. I love the shapes ideas. That is awesome. And we can even kind of make them down here into like little kebabs. Exactly. That's so fun. And a little safer, you know, so the kids can help. So these are just very thin straws that I use. And again, more color, a lot of vitamins, a lot of antioxidants. Um, and fruit, we know, is always a healthy food choice. So we just skewered these mm -hmm. onto the um, the straws. And they're just, they just look fun, you know? Well, they're so pretty and And colorful. they can eat them kind of on the move. Exactly. You know what I mean? Grab a couple skewers. Yes. And they're off being active and still, you know, eating a strawberry and a, you know, grape on the way. Yeah, <laughs> and Absolutely. it's hydrating. So that's the other thing that is so important here in the desert is yes. we stay hydrated. So a um, lot of natural fluid, both in the vegetables and the fruit. And then I even froze some of those popsicles. I love it. Now, yes. what is this exactly, the popsicle made of? Um, it has 100% Concord grape juice, okay. so it's very healthy. Um, and I also diced in just some whole grapes, so it gives it some texture, a little bit more fiber, but all you know, all these colors, all these vitamins. So a fun way to eat healthy. So if we had to break this all down, what is really like those key building key blocks for the parents? Yes. So number one, um, fish or any seafood, two to three times a week. Get those fruits and vegetables in their diet and make it fun. Oh, that's, that's all something perfect. we can incorporate. Yes, absolutely. And really, really quickly before we let you go, maybe some of your kids' favorites. 
Oh, well, I, fruit is definitely number yeah. one. And the nice thing about fruit and these types of skewers is that you can freeze them. So oh, they just perfect. get that. Yeah. And you can take them to the pool. Oh, exactly. I love it. And I even as it. they defrost, they're just, they're still delicious. I think that's what <laughs> parents are absolutely thanking you right now for all oh, of these I great ideas. So. They're easy to do. And of course, you've already tried them with your kids, so you yes. know they work. Yes. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you. And actually, to learn more about Christy and her delicious recipes, you could log on to Christy Wilson Nutrition. Nutrition.com.